Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. When I first started my channel, like the first video that gained uh, some attention uh, was actually a video about any type and any type looks really different now uh, compared to when I first reviewed it and I did a tutorial on it. I might do a new tutorial soon because with this desktop 0 0.46 release they have made a lot of changes. They are uh, introducing a project they call Primitives, which is supposed to be a fundamental uh, change in any type's core organi organizational structure, like how things are organized inside of um, any type. And the point of all of this is to make it easier for you and me to understand the application. I've talked about this before. Uh, Object-based note-taking is really complicated. Any type is probably the most complicated of the object-based note-taking apps, but let's go over some of the updates here. Um, so what I will do is that I will go through this, uh, which shows a lot of the updates, and I will also go over some of the things I see in the user interface here. So relations are now called properties. I've always called relation properties. Uh, in all of my videos, that has been a mistake that I've made. Uh, every time I talk about relations, I say uh, properties. Now they are finally properties. I've tried to explain like why they are called uh, relations, and I think that made a little bit of sense, but um, it doesn't. Uh, like, it did, but then it didn't. It was really complicated just calling it properties makes it so much easier because that's basically what they are. They are properties inside of databases. And um, I've had the same thing for sets. So sets are now called queries, as you can see right here. Sets have always been search queries of specific types. So uh, let's say you had a type called uh, social media idea. You could uh, do a backslash set and create a type uh, or create a set based on the type social media ideas, which would search for everything uh, called social media ideas. Uh, and then you would end up like getting a database uh, of that specific type. Basically, uh, if you compare it to super tags in Tana, that's basically what super tags does. When you search for something using uh, Tana and super tags, uh, they are basically just uh, search queries. I've always explained sets when I've tried to explain like what's the difference between a set and a collection. Set is a search query. So now they are finally uh, calling it query. Uh, and the same goes for relations are now called properties. I will come back to the changes to types, which is now the primary structure of objects, determining all attached properties. Uh, the same goes for templates, layouts, properties. I will come back to them. Either uh, I will come back to them later, uh, and I will probably do a more in-depth video on all of this later. Um, but uh, queries for types. Each type page now comes with a built-in inline query, making it easier to access and organize related objects. That is great. Uh, templates for queries and collections. You can now save and reuse your configurations, including view settings. That is also a really cool idea, being able to create a template database which you can reuse. Uh, that is uh, something I also like, uh, right sidebar and setup menu, the properties icon uh, lets you, we will go through some of these as well so I can see how things have changed. Uh, but uh, let's quickly just go over the things I see right here. So now I have this, that is basically what they mean by the property. So I can click here and I can see the links. I think these also used to be, if I go, and open this up. This is basically how this is set up, how the graph looks. Um, so you have links now, you have backlinks, you have tags, so I can tag everything, and you have the object type, which is a page. Uh, if I click on all objects, let's do a tweet here. Uh, if I click this, so here I have the author, I have um, 
so these uh, properties exist only in this object and aren't part of the type. That's basically what they've done. So what they've done is that they have uh, you can have um, you can have your properties for the type. So I could add properties for tweets. So every tweet would get the same one, and I can also create local ones. Um, that only exist in this specific uh, instance of that type. So we have to uh, differentiate between objects and types. Tweet is the type, this is the object. Uh, like the thing here is the object. You have to differentiate between those two, which can be a little difficult to understand. But basically, type it is the object type, and you have the object itself. I think that is the best way of putting it. This is the object itself, how you should start your workday. That is the object, uh, and it's an object type tweet. So you have to differentiate between those two. But you could add properties to the object type, and you can add what they call local here. So I can go ahead and I can add a new one. Um, let's call this test. Uh, and I should have uh, the property test somewhere. Let's do test, create property test, save. Property test has been created, but where does it go? I'm not sure what, why that doesn't work, but I can also here press edit type, which allows me to edit a few things. So uh, this is the properties panel. I can actually drag things into the properties panel. Here we have the test one as well. Uh, Let's go ahead and just delete this. So it takes a second to understand that. You have to right click, then move to bin. Um, and I can drag things just into here. Let's do save. And this should probably change how this looks. And it does. So it changes things up here. Uh, if My guess is that if you start a new any type, like if you're new to any type, it won't have, it won't be looking like this it will make more uh, sense um so uh, as i said these properties exist only in this object and aren't uh, part of its type add to the type to use in all objects or remove basically these aren't a part of the type i explained that uh, so let's go ahead and close this i just wanted to see the layout because we could previously change like layouts uh, and now we can do that in editing the type. Uh, I think they've um, they've made it a little simpler to change things up. Like it feels a little bit more intuitive. Of course, I will need to like play around with the application a little bit more because I'm used to the old way of uh, the old way of doing things like here again. Uh, I only have local uh, properties. Uh, I will need to add my properties like this. Uh, but I think the application feels a little uh, bit more intuitive. Uh, again, I um, I haven't used any type for a while now, so I'm not used to things looking like this. That's why the difference between like having things local and properties uh, didn't make sense to me. Uh, and uh and uh, in general i as you can see in the video i struggled a little bit uh because i'm used to the old any type but honestly i think this looks and feels a lot better one more thing i wanted to check out was uh if i try to create if i do backslash uh query what happens if i do backslash set so it gives me the two options but let's do backslash uh, query that creates a database. I can select the query based on the object type. Let's do apps. Uh, I could also select tags. I won't do that. Uh, and I could add my properties from right here. Uh, that is actually not the property. <laughs> this is the property. So here you can see the different properties. What happens if I open up my uh, lists here so all of my previous sets are now turned into queries 
Um, that is great. Uh, so in general, I think like any type is a little bit better than it previously was or more intuitive, which is super important for an application like any type. I will come back in a week or two and do an in-depth tutorial again on any type where I try to explain the things I talked about a little better. I just wanted to do like a first impression on the changes and what I think about them. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, anything you want me to include in the upcoming video, anything that doesn't make sense, please do comment it down below and I promise I will uh, try my best to include it in the video. As usual, uh, thank you so so much for watching today's video uh, and I hope to see you again quite soon.